That's how um, the rise of the machine starts. Today it's a robotic desk. Tomorrow, who knows? Judgment day. Probably a bit dramatic. What's up, Bit Army? Welcome back, or should I say, just welcome to my new uh, filming space. I don't really want to say studio, sounds a bit professional. I suppose we could say general chamber of tomfoolery. <laughs> I like that actually, I'm gonna get a, a plaque with that on. Anyway, this is where I'll be filming some stuff. I'm also gonna film next door in the uh, the office when it's ready, and uh, I'm sure we'll be down in the kitchen from time to time, but I just wanted a space where um, I could shoot some stuff. I know a lot of people miss the uh, the old lounge, but I really just wanted a room with some paraphernalia in the background that says a little bit more about me than, you know, some old curtains and a widescreen TV. So. We've got, uh, of course, my pride and joy back there. A couple of contest shirts. The uh, Nathan's jersey in particular. My Nathan's uh, winner's trophy. I didn't win the finals. That's the <laughs> qualifier uh, winner. There's some other trophies down there. Could probably use a few more. Of course, I've got my uh, 100,000 subscriber plaque there from, uh, from YouTube. We've got some uh, general uh, eating souvenirs over here. And I think probably most people will be excited about this little rack of uh, t-shirts. Those are some of my uh, restaurant food challenge winners t-shirts. Not all of them. Some of them are in uh, storage, but I'll probably switch them up from time to time. A lot of people have asked me to uh, to show those. For some reason there's a neon pineapple there. I don't know which way is best to turn. Sofa in the back with some uh, novelty plush cushions on there. Pretty much just itemized every single thing in the room. And of course, I don't know if you spotted it yet, but the most important thing we got the signed Arnold Schwarzenegger photograph down there. It's fantastic. <laughs> anyway, hope you like it. Just wanted to introduce you to the room. Uh, and now I'm gonna go out and eat something. But we're gonna change first though, because this shirt is kind of tight. <laughs> I'll be as quick as I can get out your hair. Huh? You think you can do it, man? Alright, so I'm at uh, Brewski in uh, Manchester today, taking on something by popular demand. A lot of people have sent me this. Britain's biggest brunch. It's meant for four people, not strictly speaking a, a challenge. You don't get anything for finishing it, but um, it looks delicious, and I've been meaning to try this for a while, so I'm gonna get stuck straight into it. Alright, it starts to fill up, so I think they're getting uh, a little bit wound up with me taking so long, so I'm gonna get stuck into it. I'm gonna start with the steak. Ah, oh, man, you forgot to say, who's good? Amateur. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back, brunch army, <laughs> to, uh, I'm just making myself laugh today, to another episode of The Chronicles of Bearden today. As you can no doubt tell by the title of the video, we're taking on Britain's biggest brunch, no less. Let's do the poached eggs next. Yeah, these, I mean, these eggs were just unreal. In fact, I'm gonna eulogize about how good this meal is from pretty much start to finish. So if anyone's suspicious, there are cynics out there who will say, you know, ah, oh, it's a sponsored video. It's not. If it were, then in the bottom left-hand corner, there has to be legally a card kind of advising you of that. Anyway, it's uh, a 40 quid brunch platter, right? It was on Lad Bible Uni Lad. Turns out it's the biggest brunch on offer in Britain. And at the time when it first did the rounds on social media, a lot of people told me to do it, so I finally got around to doing it today. This really is delicious. I'll go with some black pudding. Thankfully, no spam on this one. Yeah, no spam, and uh, what a relief that was, I can tell you. Mate, it's delicious. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry for my mess, but no, no, worry, I nailed the steak first. Yeah, yeah, the, the steak was fantastic. I really enjoyed the eggs as well. The eggs were just... Oh, banging on about the eggs again. <laughs> 
I don't know if it's because I'm terrible at poaching eggs, so I was just impressed they managed to do eight equally well. So apparently these things are deep fried sausage patties, which is a bit of a shame because that means I can't crack any innuendos. <laughs> no sausage cooked. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> I, know, I know that'll be a source of great happiness to some people, but equally severe disappointment to some others. What next? Seems to be scrambled egg and potatoes. The cheese. Cheese. <laughs> That's cheese, by the way. This was kind of like a, a breakfast hash scramble kind of thing. Reminds me of kids' TV show Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm really sure about age there. You remember that show? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. It was a classic. But yeah, th these tomatoes are just huge, ridiculously large. Those are some juicy tomatoes. Beans. All right, so in terms of savory stuff now, we're pretty much done. Just four pots of beans, some bacon, and a couple of loose mushrooms that it's on to. The pancakes, got to finish with a little something sweet. And I, I really, I cannot praise this place enough. It's 40 quid to order, which sounds expensive, but it's not meant for one person. So between four or even between two is very reasonable. The steak is clearly marinated in something a bit special because that was fantastic. And I mean, even the pancakes, they were cold by the time I got to them. But even then they were so fluffy and light. And even this, I don't even know what this green stuff is. I think it's like crispy spinach or something. Even that was reasonably enjoyable. The sausage patties as well, I would highly recommend it if you're in the area. Not bad. Well, let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of this uh, green stuff. And uh, enjoy the pancakes. Actually, even the green stuff is good. Oops, already said that in the commentary like 20 seconds ago. I mean, it was pretty good though, so why not say it twice? <laughs> this is a maple syrup. So I'm gonna absolutely drench these things in the syrup. Oh my God. It's quite rare that I watch something back this close to actually eating it, I want to eat it again, right? But this was, I just can't follow it. There's nothing I can complain about here, which I mean, for me, that is unusual. So it's been hard to think of things to talk about during the commentary, but um, even the mushrooms, I have a check in history with mushrooms, but even they tasted good. I still ate the texture, but all round great brunch. I really should have changed this shirt. <laughs> you don't want to look at this. It's going to put you off your lunch. Mmm. Oh, it's flipping yummy. God knows what I'm going to look like now when I stand up. It's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Made all delicious.